Okay, in my previous video I showed you how you can create an interactive Excel table like this one using images and checkboxes. But this time I'm going to show you how you can pull images from OneDrive directly to a cell by using the image formula. Because in the new feature if you select a cell and you go to the insert tab on the ribbon and you select pictures, you have a new options called place in cell. That means you can directly insert an image into a cell. Let's see now how it works with OneDrive. Before I would start it, I need to modify my table a little bit because I'm going to use the image function in the table. I insert one more column. I'm going to name it as URL because the image function can pull the images based on an HTTPS URL. Then I simply remove the directly inserted images from the column. Then I select the first cell and I start typing image and my source is going to be from the URL column. I close the brackets, I hit enter. For sure it shows me an error message because I don't have the URL available yet. And as a next step I simply just head over to my Microsoft account and I open up my OneDrive where I store some tool images. And we could easily believe that if we just simply select the item and we share the image and we create the public link and we head back to Excel then this URL will work. I'm going to paste it, I hit enter, and here we go, it's not working. So what's the problem with it? Let's go back to OneDrive, and I'll show you what the trick is. I'm still selecting the image, and instead of sharing the image itself and creating a link to share and edit the image, I go to the ribbon on the top and I select these three dots, and I select embed. It will open up a new pane. If you have never created any embed code for your image, then you simply just hit generate. Once it's done, you just simply copy the URL you created for your embed link and we go back to our Excel file. I remove the previous URL and I simply just insert the new link I just created. I hit enter and here we go. The embed link will work with the image function in Excel. And why? Because Excel needs to embed the image into the cell. And the only thing I need to do is to go back to my OneDrive and repeat the process for all the images. I'm going to select the second one, three dots, embed, generate, copy the link, go back to Excel and just paste the link. I'm going to repeat the process for all the images on my OneDrive. A few moments later. Okay, once I collected all my embedded links, my image function will work. As you see, if I select the cell, my images are not directly inserted into the cell, but using the image function and a URL address. And as you see, I can use my checkboxes to display my images from my interactive table. If you want to know how to build an interactive table like this, please check out my previous video. And did you know if you create a pivot table from a table like this where you have images stored, let's choose this sheet, select this cell, hit OK, then you can interact with the images by using the mathematical functions. If you look at this simple pivot table, then you can see easily that it's able to count how many images I have related to a row item on my table. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe and share it with anyone who may find it useful.